morning guys from Lebanon today I'm going to be traveling to Tripoli it's not the first time I've been to Tripoli but we were only there for a very short amount of time so we're going to go for another little trip with the man the myth the legend good morning, good morning. what's up guys uh, so yeah we got like an hour drive hour drive yeah hour one hour one hour 20 minutes you know what I mean but it's good it's time flies when you're with Fouad we're going to be singing songs we're going to be getting some Starbucks on the way and then I'm very very hungry I don't know about you Fouad but I'm extremely hungry so we're going to be getting some incredible food as soon as we get to Tripoli oh, yeah. and showing you guys around the souks and the areas that we missed the first time because it's a pretty interesting city uh, very vibrant very intense just what I love a bit of adventure we says that Lebanon is just desert, they're a liar. Can't you see, Stacy's mom has got it going on. She's all I want and I've been waiting for so long. All right guys, we have arrived in Tripoli. It is a beautiful day, sunny but not too hot. And uh, first of all, we're gonna just park up and uh, get some food and show you guys the street. That's one of the most famous parts. I'll also tell you a little bit more about the history, or Fred will tell you more about the history because he's the history man. Alright, we have arrived. Yep. It's actually very hot, but that's fine. And we are at like this cool roundabout where they've got some really nice uh, artwork, graffiti kind of stuff. Come, come with, the, with the cedar tree of Lebanon across the road. Be very careful. Who is my prayers? It's me. It's me. Hayseb. Hayseb. It's me and Hayseb. Hayseb. Harry. 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 Harusi. Merci, Harry. Enta Harry. Kalla kzo. Kalla klotof. Merci. Merci. Kalla klotof. Bye bye. What was he saying? He was saying like you should go to my village and oh, no. car. <laughs> it's such a beautiful village. Oh, wow, very kind. Very nice guy. So we're just uh, walking through the center of the city. This is the second largest city in Lebanon and the, the largest in North Lebanon. And again, it's on the coast of Lebanon, like mo most of the cities here, um, on the looking out over the Mediterranean. So um, yeah, pretty hot and lots to do here. This is apparently the place to come for sweets as well. Is that right? Oh yeah. We're gonna the have some sweets, sweets a bit later. Lebanon. Honestly, this Tripoli is one of the best places to not just sweet for anything. All the oh, types yeah? of food, it's really good here. Yeah. Honestly. Okay. There's some fresh corn. Mm. We've got fresh juices. Wow, this, yeah, is, this, place is, this is just market heaven. Oh, we even got tuk-tuks. And then across the road, we got a really nice jewelry store. All right, guys. And now we are entering the famous souks. You can see now it's just pedestrianized, so no cars, and it's fairly busy. Um, imagine like this is what it would be like in Turkey, just like lots of uh, designer brands, clothing brands, and I think what we're gonna find is some jewelry. We'll have a look at the jewelry and also food. We gotta get food. You wanna go for kak? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is kak here. Yeah. Oh. What do they put inside? Cheese. Marahib. Kifak. Measure how? Sure, you want to have cheese? Uh, yes, please. Uh, Fiasbak Nen Cheese Kak. How do you say cheese? Well, what do you want inside? What's this? That's, uh, that's cheese. Okay, yeah. Pecon. Shwe Shwe. I know, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to Here we go. So he slaps it open. There's already a little bit of uh, cheese in there, I think. Oh, he's already put it on. And then, uh, a little bit of sweet corn. That's unusual. But... And it's just got. Oh, bread. Oh, he's toasted in his little toaster over here. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, Habib Albi. Merci. Merci, Khaye. I thank you. You're the love of my heart. Ah, oh, likewise, bro. He's complimenting bro. you. Likewise, bro. I'm Almo, you speak Arabic. 
I'm telling you, I'm teaching you, you talking Arabic. Shwe <laughs> shwe Arabic. Shu is Mark? Yahya. Yahya. Okay. You and Tashu is Mark. Harry. 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 Harry Potter. Welcome, Harry. Merci. So well, he made that extremely quickly. Yes. And uh, so, do they buy these from the from the kak man, or do they make uh, them? Or they make them by their own hands. Oh yeah. I uh, There we go. Let's put in a little bit more in there. See, it's toasted very nice. All it's, that is delicious. He's telling you you're gonna eat the best kak. Oh yeah. Yes. No, hello. The kak You're gonna eat the really delicious kak. Kitir taibe. <laughs> Everyone in Lebanon, they have character. They all have character. He tells you all of the market buys kak from here because he makes the best kak. Oh, really? Yep. The kak man. Oh, now he's, he's toasting it all. It's a very ingenious way of toasting it. He's pushing it down. He's saying, he's, he's saying that you have a very beautiful soul. Merci. Yeah. And you, and you. Thank you, bro. Very nice people here. It's a very romantic language. Keep huh? I was like, how am I with you? He's uh, good. Taibe. No, no. no sure. <laughs> what did I say? Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> you say Ktir Mnir. Mnir. Very good. Ktir Mnir. <laughs> Delicious. Angleterre. Angleterre. Inglaterra. Hey. Ma mean football? Barcelona. Who's with Barcelona? Uh, Barcelona. 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 Team. Inglaterra team. Oh, my <laughs> Oh, yeah, look at that. Toasted to perfection. It's like a little Lebanese cheese toasty. So he's, he's toasting it like one on top of the other. You can see that cheese is melted to perfection. What what type of cheese is it? Do you know? Shunar al jibna that you put. Akiwi and pecan. Akiwi cheese and pecan. Pecan. Wow, wow, to give mozzarella. Wow. And sometimes you bring mozzarella. Mhm. Mm you can see that everything is homemade. I'm gonna look at you. You're doing it for So guys, if you come here to Tripoli, make sure you ask about Yahya Kaag. Can I give you a cup? No. You want coffee? I'm okay, thank no, you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. No so good. Mm. If you want to come to Tripoli, you go to Al-Arid, you find Yahya, the guy, the legend. He makes the best guy. you got to come here, guys. Mm. I'll try and put a location in the description. Does he, does he have a name for his shop? Mm. You just ask Yahya. Yahya and Su'u Al-Arid. You don't have to find him. Mm. That's where he is. Mm. Mm. Wow. Sakhtan. Welcome. Remember the Maghrabi sandwich that we're telling you mm -hmm. about, showed you the picture? There's a place inside the market, it's called Dabusi. It is well known, it's really good. Dabusi. Dabusi. Sounded like something else for a minute. It's telling us to put extra oil in the sandwich. Okay. Oh, yeah. Lots of oil. Oh. Can you tell him what's his favorite thing about Tripoli? Are you saying the poor people? Just, I was gonna say the people. Down to earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I thought he was gonna say that. So we're getting through. This is very easy to eat. It's a really nice snack. I love it, man. I just demolished it. It reminds me of a cheese paratha. Just so thin and really, really tasty. I could eat three of these. Oh yeah. I really, really like the sweet one. All right, guys. As you can see, I didn't have the crust because I'm trying to save myself. If I eat the crust, I won't be able to eat any more inside the soup. So 60k for that. That's literally two dollars. Honestly, that's nothing. That's delicious. 60k for two cakes. Thank you, bro. Keep for you. No, 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 no. Put it on the table and walk. For you, for you, for you. I don't want change. No change. No change. Messi. No, Habibi. Love you. Love you too, Habibi. He's like best boy and he's inviting us for tea. Oh wow, so kind of you. Soy, cafe. Okay, we come back. We, we, we come back? Ah, okay. When we come back. Perfect. Okay. See you soon. That's such a nice start. One absolute character. 
and this isn't uncommon there's so many people that are like this in Lebanon just get Honestly, characters everywhere the most he, he didn't want to take anything from us really yeah he didn't want to take anything from us. He's like, leave it on me this time. Come on. Wow. Man, honestly. What a gentleman. The, the people of the north in Tripoli, they're the most generous people you ever meet. But this has been the, the case wherever I've been in Lebanon. They don't want to take my money. Yeah, but it's always not, times two in Tripoli, the generosity. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, they're lovely people. Okay. Do you like buying some jewelry? Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, we're going to so, go to the market of jewelry inside. A little bit of context to this, guys. I used to have a ring here. A really nice ring i got it designed myself in bali i lost it so we're gonna get a replacement today and i also i like to get a piece of jewelry in every country i go to and i haven't got one from lebanon so far so i think that's a really good idea oh now we're getting into the real the proper souks this is where you know because it's like thin alleys hustling bustling streets and uh lots to do i'm guessing this is for generally quieter than usual or is this uh, like it depends like there is always like uh, rush time and normal time and what's the, what's this in the down the middle is this for like uh what's this usually do uh, that's wh where the water goes into the drains uh, you know what i mean like when they want to clean the sea. oh here we go we have some really nice seats it's like uh actually really nice shops here mm -hmm. like glass and uh really well maintained area we got a pussycat hello we got a lion. Wow, so should we get a suit? Why not? <laughs> and it's nice to have a local with me so I know I'm not gonna get ripped off with this uh, silver ring. All right guys, we're gonna check out some jewelry. Pretty much all of this street here. Kifak, uh, do you sell silver rings? No English, they'll be taking English in our shop. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Kivak, Sabaho, do you sell, do you speak English? Yeah. Do you sell a silver ring? Yeah. Can I have a look? Like a... Um, yeah, let's just have a look at the designs. Here we go. Oh, perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. The question is, these are all quite big. Do they have my size? Okay, first of all, let's, let's choose one. I like that one. I like that one. Do you want to try it? Yes, please. Yeah, it's a small size. This is going to be... The, the issue was my last ring fell off. Oh. So if I can get it as tight as possible. Is that the smallest? That does fit that one, but... This is silver? Yeah, this is silver. Thank you. It fits that ring, but uh, that finger, but I kind of want it for this one. I really like the design though, it's got like very intricate detailing. Okay guys, we've decided on this one. Fits perfectly and it's a really, really nice design and intricate design. So how much for this, Kaye? This one's $20. $20? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Let's do that. Uh, you take in Lira? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So what is this place name? What is the name of this uh, place? Hassan Samir Hassan Jodeh. Oh, yeah, so when? So at Dahab, Tripoli. Uh, it's in the market of the gold here. Okay. In case anybody yeah, wants to come. Yeah. What's the name of the place? Uh, Samir Hassan Jodeh. Samir Hassan Jodeh. All right. 60, 70. Do you want a 10? I think I got it. If you have. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. 680? Yeah. That's good. Okay, perfect. Congratulations. Merci. Merci, Kaye. Show us the ring. There we go. It's beautiful. Hopefully this one isn't going to fall off anytime soon. It's beautiful. If it's the right size, then you don't need to worry at all. Exactly. So you, you buy these from, uh, you buy these in Lebanon or you get them imported? No, it's uh, from Turkey. Ah, okay. A lot of the items here from yeah. Turkey. Okay, awesome. You are from Tripoli? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Successful purchase. $20 is a little bit pricey for that actually no no i'd say that's a fair price like um they did get a markup on that but we're in like a really really nice area that was a really nice shop so it's not like i just bought it from like a random market stall it was a really good so i think that's a you think that's a fair price yeah i think so yeah i mean like for a silver ring that's good yeah not bad not bad at all um i just didn't feel like negotiating plus it didn't really seem like the kind of place you negotiate this is so cool it's like a proper proper souk you can just see the uh, even the the windows like up here, the, the blue and the reds look really really unique. The colours, 
Very vibrant colors. Okay, let's carry on. Do you want anything, bro? No, I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. Ooh, look at this. I bet that's gonna be smelling so nice. Here we go, the soap factory. This is all natural soap. Wow. This is awesome. Soap made in the, in the shape of yeah, fruits. Yeah, 24 hours uh, and after 20 years, no problem. Can you eat this? Yeah. <laughs> it's not here, easy to make this type of soap. You need skills. Here and I work here. But snow and stop and uh, review, refresh for uh, massage spa after one month and uh, review for all. Okay. What's the, what's the name, sorry? There's uh, soap and gommage inside. Okay. You understand uh, for soap and gommage? Uh -huh. There's and inside gommage. Okay. Only bus refresh for. Yeah, yeah. Soap. Maybe I get because I don't actually have yeah. any when I'm like in hotels and stuff, yes, and they don't have. Maybe it's it'll, that will fit in my uh, toiletry bag. How much for this rest? This is five dollar. Five dollar. One fifty. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's okay, I, I just can just put in my... No problem, this is okay. a There we go. Okay, I will come back. Oh, bro, I'm needing one. I've been wanting one since I arrived. <laughs> Alright, thank, thank you. Bye-bye. We can go this way? Yeah, boy. You can see this is the man scraping the soap. Sabaho. Wow. Looks like a tough job, a very tough job. Especially in this heat. You can literally get anything you want here. There's groceries, there's like all these little items, anything you want. Clothes, shoes. I'm in heaven. This is a market run of dreams. That's the famous Sajid chef, Mokrabi, been telling you about. Ah, yeah? Yeah, you want to the, try? One, the one the guy was saying. Yeah, yeah, also. Oh, okay. You want to go yeah. for it? Maybe, maybe something small or to share? Yeah, or maybe like uh, we split it and have it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kifak. Kifak. Look at this. Oh. Is that called Maghrabi? It's uh, chickpeas? Yeah. This is a sandwich that we have in the middle of the Wow, this looks incredible. This is one of the best places for Maghrabi. Okay, awesome. Yeah, look. Uh, so he's got like this pitta, and then uh, he cooks it on this huge wok, bulk cook. And uh, I guess it just makes it into a little sandwich. Me and Fahd are gonna share one. You can already hear it sizzling up. It's warming up. He's got a bit of onion in there, chickpeas with some seasoning. Oh, oh what's, what's that? The, the kamon. Oh, that's, uh, sp that's herb. Oh, Spice. nice. Oh, this looks incredible. Yeah. You see here, these are the raw ingredients, the two different types of chickpeas. We've got the, the fresh onions there, and then he puts it into here and cooks it in this nice oil. Oh, what's this? That's pickles. Pickles, oh, nice. That's called the lifet, sah? Lifet Wow, that's huge. Lifet like cucumbers, yeah. Oh my God, oh, it makes it into a nice little wrap, like a little uh, shawarma. Oh, awesome. He's gonna cut it in half. Nice, just a nice little. We can sit inside and eat it. Okay, perfect. And then cuts it in half. Boom. Look, look at that. How beautiful. Merci. Okay, here we go, guys. Look at that. We've got loads of ingredients in there, and it's just in this paper bag. Oh, that looks so good. Here we go. Wow, you can really taste the, uh, not the spice, what's the uh, the, the powder he put in? Yeah, the, uh, the herbs. Herbs. Mahar, we say. The herb is like the main ingredient that I'm tasting. I'm usually not a big fan of pickles, but you can't really taste the pickles at all. So it's got a nice little, like, adds a nice little flavor to it. The onions are really, really nice. And just this, you can't be, everything in, in Lebanon is just served in this really thin bread. That's just beautiful. Mmm. Everything I've had in Lebanon has been so good so far. This is honestly like keeps getting better and better. And how much would this usually be? Uh, let's make a guess. I'd say one dollar. Maybe two dollars. Maybe I think the same price in my head. We did, we did just get one, so 
it's usually maybe yeah. get through, but you know everything is super cheap here and what's good like whatever you buy from Tripoli is that you're benefiting the families who are having these independent businesses exactly. and the chains that, that that is really special because you have the authentic food here uh-huh this is yeah one of the main things i'd say is to just try and eat local because you're obviously helping the people of the the country don't just go to the fast food chains because then you just know it's not necessarily going to the right people um but yeah this is a really nice meal Fouad was telling me that this is like a Moroccan Algerian it, yeah. origin, so it's like a North African origins. It's got like the, the herbs, the spices. I think it's that. the only place in Lebanon where they make the maghrabi sandwich. Usually, oh. in like catering and big lunch in Lebanon, we make maghrabi with like with chicken and onions. Nice. This is the only place in Lebanon where they make maghrabi sandwiches in Tripoli. Okay. Yeah, this is very uh, like a lot of the foods in Lebanon is just like carb based with lots of herbs. They love their herbs. Also, guys. I mentioned it in the previous vlog, but I gotta thank the man, the myth, for taking me around, showing me. Literally, I would not have a clue where to go or what to do if it wasn't for this man. And um, like today, for example, he's taking me to the best place to have kak, and now the best place to have this. I've forgotten the name of it. Mokhrabi sandwich. Okay. Try it. <laughs> try it. Mokhrabi. 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 Say ghr. Yeah. All right. Say ghr. Ghr. Mokh. Mokh. Marabi. <laughs> I'm so bad at pronunciation. You guys are probably laughing at home. But yeah, guys, if you are coming to Lebanon, um, I'll put Fouad's contact details down Thanks, below. <laughs> because honestly, you've been so helpful for me. So so helpful. If it was if it was me coming around Tripoli, I, I'd be going to McDonald's and be going like, yeah, this is traditional Lebanese food. <laughs> Merci. Kateer Taibe. Sakten. Uh, how much? Adepto Umur. Abdetto? To Umur. Abdetto Tomo? Uh, Adebit Reed. Adebit Reed. Uh, sandwich at Latin. 30. Oh, you nailed it. One dollar. One dollar. Wow, yeah. that's no, very, no. very. Uh, 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 even less. Merci. For you, no change. Merci, Tir. Yatik Ulafi. Yatik No change. For you. Yeah. That was just for one sandwich. Um, oh, that's, that's like... the market of the herbs. Look at the herbs oh. right now. Nuts, herbs, whatever you want. And he's a tar. <laughs> oh, look at this. What the hell? It's got some oats. Sabaho. Welcome. Kifak. This is some. Yatikalafi. This is some crisps where you oh, wow. where, where you put them in. The, Looks like pasta. Yeah, that's how chips are made. Like chips, crisps. What do you call them? Like not the fr not we the call fries. Them crisps. Yeah. So you have a uh, you you have boiling oil. And you put it, you deep fry them, then you turn it to crisps. Mm. That's awesome. Yeah. This is like the almond. some dates. This is very, uh, very uh, Middle Eastern to get the dates. You've got nuts, raisins. Oh. It looks so good. So tasty. <coughs> Sabaho. <coughs> Sunflower seeds. Everything. Oh, look at these curry spices. Oh, cinnamon. Look at the cinnamon. Oh, look at that. Smell. You can smell it if you want. Give me, give me one. This one? Give me this one, yes. Smell it. It's fresh. Oh, that tastes or good. Deep, it tastes, of, tastes like Christmas. It smells like Christmas even. You can oh. use it. it, it uh, look. Mmm, fresh. You can, you can. Incense. Go. Incense? Yeah, you oh, can go you outside have. and film. Wow. Can I can I try? I, I can try? Let's try a little bit. Wow. Oh, they got tiger balm. Oh my god. That taste of uh, cinnamon is so strong. Uh -huh. This is perfume, jasmine. Give me your hand. Oh, it smells so good. This is cedar oil. Cedar oil. Cedar oil. Oh wow. That's a really Man, neat place smell. Seems the best of the best. They, you got all these spices. Yeah, spices. literally everything. Look at the spices. Look at the variety. Where do you where does he get the spices from? Where would you build spices? Spices make kill normal And every hand bit like a moon, bit like a zebra, but not like no bhara as well. So he said like in every certain every certain type of spice or herb. 
he get them from every certain country. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. shishir rubas, that's very good for the diet where you put it into cold water inside a jug or a pitcher and you drink it every day in the morning. This is Arabic Viagra. This is Rubas. Oh, yeah? Yeah, oh. this is Arabic Viagra. Heather Rubas. Not the Rubas, I'm, I'm talking about the Rubas. <laughs> oh, Don't get it too confused. <laughs> yeah, this, this is star uh, Anis. You know Anis? Yansun, uh -huh. we call it. <laughs> wow. This is music. Hen. Oh, yeah? Oh, that smells incredible. Mm. Wow. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Man, this place got everything. It's the yeah. best of the best. Oh, let's ask him what's the place's name. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. It will be on the front. Uh, there we go. Spices, perfumes, and herbs. Yeah, they have everything. <laughs> Merci, Merci. All right, guys. Just literally walking a few, few more meters, and we're getting into the fresh produce. We've got fruits, veg, meats, and I can smell fish. Boy, I can smell oh, look fish. look at the fresh fruit, man. Look at the rice. That's the first time I've seen rice in Lebanon. Got really nice fresh fruits. People are here just to buy their, their weekly groceries, I think. That's where you buy olives, uh, spice, oh, pickles, wow. and everything. Oh my God. This is called vine leaves for Wara Arish. Sabaho. That's, that's fish. Oh yeah. Wow. This is fresh fish. This is so so interesting. That's a shoe shop. <laughs> this is exactly what I expected when I thought we were going to a souk. This is proper intense, but I love it. Sabaho. Alright guys, look at this. A little smoothie shop. Sabaho. Sabaho. Kifa. What flavors? What flavor do you have? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Is the ice is the ice okay? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I'll try it. I'll try it if you want. No, no, but it's, it's... Oh, he said. Whoa, we're moving. We're moving. Yeah. So we so we can have place to film. Yalla. This is the beauty of his uh, little cart. Oh wow, he's just slicing up. Whoa, it's going everywhere. Oh Whoa. wow. That's like a magic trick. And it's, oh my god, that's incredible. What's this? That's lemon, that's orange. Orange, ah. Yeah. Thank Let's you, see. you want one? Uh, is it, could I have one with no ice or is that stupid? Yeah. Okay, yeah. just cause uh, it's okay, it's okay. Messi, Messi. Okay, let's, let's give it a go. Orange juice with ice, <laughs> full of ice. Tell him, a debit read. A debit read? 18. 18, wow, that's so good. Honest man's work, honestly. Yep. Thank you, boss. No change, bro. Merci. Kateer Taibe. Ah, merci. Okay, we'll take this a go. When he wants to move on to the next location, he just wheels it off. Very, uh, very good business tactics there. If there's no demand in the area, he just whisks away. All right, let's give it another shot. That place is a great, that show, that show is so creative. He recorded his voice to market his uh, uh, products. Wow. So clever. He's living in 2050, <laughs> I swear. This is so refreshing. So refreshing, exactly what you need. It's so hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so refreshing, oh my God. What do you think, bro? It's good? Yeah, it's so refreshing. That's what he call a, home, a handmade smoothie. Oh yeah. The reason why I was asking about the ice is because um, I have a habit of getting uh, food poisoning. Hello. Hey, what's up? And uh, so I wanted to be careful with the ice, but it looks like we're having it. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, guys. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Mashad, how? How are you? Hey, yeah, yeah, Habibi. Yalla. You want coffee? Oh yeah. 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 Here we go. Look at this. He's got it in this like uh, really cool kind of kettle contraption. 
which he heats up before, and we just got the fresh coffee. Taibe? Do, hello, do. Taste it. Thank you, sir. Hello. Okay. Merci. Merci, Khay. Bamrak, Habibi. Yeah, Arabic. Yeah, Hey, they're, they're really impressed Arabic. you're talking Arabic. Arabic. Go. Look, look, look. You take a laugh. Okay, I'm going to wait for it to cool down a little bit. We'll do a little taste test now. Oh, that's too hot. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I didn't even get the opportunity to even offer to pay because those two are too arguing about it. Habibi. Merci, Habibi. Merci. Habibi, ah. Bye bye. Wow, what a nice gentleman. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do the taste test. Oh, it's just like a very sweet black coffee. Really nice. Here we go, he's got more customers. Yeah. Good day, Yeah. How many does he sell in one day? It depends. It depends the market, it depends people if they're working or not. Okay, we're gonna finish this and go. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Yahya. Make Merci. sure you pa make sure you pa make sure you pass by at Yahya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Yahya. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. All right, that was a lovely little coffee. Got our energy levels back up, and uh, we we're still not done, guys. We've got a couple more things to do. Maybe some sweets. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. You know what's good about crowded places? We make shortcuts. Yeah. I'm gonna take you to a copper market. Ooh. Where you make your. You Sabaho. Sabaho. Kifak. Kifak <laughs> wow, what a nice guy. I told you. It's, it, it's, They're all so friendly. It's a place of magic here. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna really custom copper. You wanna have a shisha copper? They make you your Ooh. custom shisha copper also. Argele? Yeah. Alright, guys, we're Kifak. now walking to a different area. This is the copper market area. Sabaho. Hey fuck. You take a laugh. You know foot when I be the all uh, we, we can enter the workshop. Okay, yalla. See I'm Look at all this. Whoa. These are the coffee. Yeah. Coffee and the the kettles. Oh my god, look at all this. Wow, it's like going back in time. That's the workshop. Oh wow, yalla. Oh my god, this is incredible. Sabaho. Hey fuck. We're just walking into their shop uninvited. Sabaho, Kifak. This is copper? You speak English? Yes. You are making copper? Very hard working guys. You can show me? <laughs> They're just having a break, looks like. We've interrupted their lunch break. Wow, this is literally incredible. So he's inspecting it. I'm not entirely sure what this is, but uh, here we go. So he uses the this like uh, wedge to keep it everything sturdy so he can just work on it. There we go making sure it's completely uh, solid so he can... There we go. Boom. So now it's completely steady and he can just uh, start his work. He gets the right tool. Wow, look at all these tools. Wow. This is so cool. So hot in here as well. Yeah. I'm sweating. And these guys are working so hard. Go. So it's basically just slowly going around and making sure it's completely welded together. I don't actually know the the process. I'm just I'm just guessing. It's all handmade. All handmade. Okay, look, so, merci. He's telling us that we always come here. Thank you. Merci. All right, guys. Fast forward a little bit, and now we are taking the car over to a very special place in Tripoli. It's a place to get the sweets. I told you earlier, Tripoli has got one of the best, some of the best sweets in Lebanon. And so we're gonna go try it. What's the name of this place? Mm -hmm. It's the home of sweets, yeah. Abdul Rahman Al Hilib. Okay, yummy. I'm not gonna try and pronounce that, but you. Yalla, try it, try it. Give it a shot. Get, come on. Al Say Abdul Rahman. Say again. Say Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman. Al Hilib. Al Hilib. Al Hilib. Abdul Rahim Al Hilib. Well, that's a start at least. I'm Lebanese. I'm Lebanese. Yalla. 
Yeah, so Tripoli, overall thoughts, really, really great city. It's got the real incredible people, the hospitable people of Lebanon. I'm not saying that the rest of Lebanon is not hospitable, but this place in particular just has that vibrant, busy, and you, you really feel like it's just a really local place that you like, you feel like you're at home. Yeah, honestly. Even yeah. though it is so alien to me, I feel like I'm at home. Honestly, man. I feel really sad leaving Tripoli. Mm. I love it. Yeah. And we have arrived. We have arrived. Fouad found it with, uh, with no directions. What an absolute legend. And uh, we just parked across the street and it looks really, really like nice. They also they're doing some nice little painting here. Some some artwork. So there's Yala in there. Let's go have some guys. sweets. Yola. Wow, look at this place. This looks so grand. Gotta be careful as we're crossing the road and we enter into the sweet heaven. Asr al Halo. Asr al Halo. Yeah, that's it, man. That's it, I'm fluent. Ladies first. <laughs> oh yes. Look at this. We got the pistachio toppings. Seventy dollars for that. Jeez. Wow. Let's have a little tour of the place. So we got the classic cakes, chocolate eclairs, carrot cake. We got the interesting ice cream flavors. Sabaho. And then we got some dates over here. This looks like traditional, like Turkish. I oh, shouldn't say that. Cut that, cut that. Um, we've also got, whoa, look how many different flavors of ice cream they've got. They've also got my favorite flavor, coffee, but we're not coming for ice cream today. What else have we got? You see them making it over there. Wow, that looks so interesting. We've got, I know. Oh my God. I'm hungry. And then we got two nice little treats. This looks like something you could take home as a little present. All right. Let's order. Yalla. Yalla. Um, what is the most popular? What is the best thing to get? Okay. Uh, Nen. No, one plate and one crepe. Okay. To two plates. Yalla, yalla. Hey, with cheese, crepe. Yes, please. Who is this? That's the founder. Ah, the okay. Founder. Is he here today? No, no this is past. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm asking stupid questions. Okay, uh, Yala, let's get. Uh, let's get okay, and let's get. Uh, Perfect. Oh, we Merci. have another thing, or that two plates are enough? Uh, up to you. I probably won't finish it, but we can uh, let's taste it. Let's start with two. Let's start with two. Perfect. Shui shui. Yes. Piece. Let's start with this. Yeah, can, can we can we get a, a, a mixture of yes. dos, lots of different things? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Messi. Thank you. I didn't read it. I pay. I Ah, okay. Well, we gotta sit in order. Otherwise. Okay. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, oh, so we, we don't even we didn't even order then. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Sabaho. Kifak. Mashallah. Oh wow. This looks like we're gonna play chess here, bro. I kind of love this place. Yeah, bro. All right. Well, we did the wrong thing. We. uh we went up to pay, that's where you pay, and we were we were ordering food from there. Wow, they've even got somewhere you can wash your hands there. Yeah. Might actually do that. Oh my god. Yeah, should we get like a, a mixture of things? Uh, maybe let's ask for the good recommendations, yeah. one of the greats. Like maybe we can get two plates, like let's make it like a unique experience. Oh, okay. So this plate is for one person. Oh, I'm not. I'm not hugely hungry though. 
فايف بيسز فير فايف بيسز فلاشز نوت مخلوكي مخلوكي تحس له حل التجربه اوكي وي كان اوردر ذس بليت فور بوث اوف اس جست وان بلاي لكن صحن واحد بس لا انا وياه صح هلا هو صحن بده لشخص واحد بدك تكبر لك الصحن شوي يعني بعمله لشخصين مقصدي هي كان ميك ذا بيت بيجر فور تو بيبل اورايت كوفي اورنج جوس اورنج جوس بليز اورنج جوس مي كده او سي بدك ماي بدك واتس اب بدك فور فيميل اه ميكينج ميكينج ماي اوكي This is what you gotta do, guys. You just gotta ask. And uh, luckily, they're very, not very nice people here. Let's see. Here we go. We're getting behind the scenes. Uh, this is where they make the uh, kanefe and all the different treats. You can see he's got like an assortment there. Wow. Sabaho. Kivak. You're tickled Wow. Especially here from Tripoli. Wow. Is that cheese? Oh my god. Hello. So stringy. <laughs> That's incredible. This is uh, kanefe? Cheese. With, ah, kanefe cheese. Yes. Nice. This is, uh, this is cooking it here? Ben Marie. Ah. It's hot water. Ah, okay, you're boiling it. Yes. What is how what is the process of making kanefe? To keep it warm. The process is uh, in the top of kanefe and we put it in the like this one. Yep, in and the tray. We put the cheese on the fire. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then the zombie oven on fire. Okay. And then we turn it on. Ooh. And we uh, flip it. Put it in another tub. And it's a tight bit. Okay, Bessie, thank you. Okay, I'm very excited to try it. Thank you. See, again, very, very nice people. Oh, baby. Bessie, could you explain? That's my fruit pistachio. Merci. That's the top notch sweets. Oh my days. And what's this? Coffee? Oh, that's utter. That's uh, syrup. sugar syrup. Oh, can I drink it like that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, pick one, yeah, any pick one. Knife, I, want, I want this one. All right. When you pick the knife, oh. Oh, whoa. It's fresh. Look all that cheese in there. Oh, it smells so good. You put Ashton. You put Atat, sorry. This is Atat. Oh my god. Yeah, wow. Good. So see through. That's sugar syrup. Okay. And taste it. Mm. <laughs> I think my favorite thing is this hard bread here. It's like shortbread. And then there's cheese and the syrup. It's so sugary. Um. <laughs> I want more of that. You said then try the rest. Try this one. Okay. Yeah. This is incredible, guys. Use your, use your knife to cut it. Oh no bro, you gotta treat it with care, that's sweet. Oh yeah? Yeah, you gotta treat it with care and love. I hope you guys are smelling the food with yeah, the camera. Well, unfortunately, smell -o vision hasn't been invented yet, but one day, you guys will be able to smell this. Alright, try, try this one. That's just like the cheese, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. But a different uh, coating. There's ashta inside it. I, I prefer the the first one. Knefe. Yeah, because it's got the it's got the uh, like shortbread kind of addition. But this is still very very good. I'm not complaining. Mmm. Could a bit. This one looks good. It is indeed. It's like a spring roll. 
I'm gonna go for it. You can see like it's got this uh, pistachio dust on it and these like uh This is crunchy, you'll love it. Okay, yellow, yellow, yellow. We put the, the thingy over it again. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Woohoo! I, th I have a feeling this is going to be the best look, one. Look, 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 at, look, this is all across. Yeah, so across, so crunchy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. You still didn't finish the rest, even. Is this, is this, keep it for the last. this is like the like Kanefe again? No, no. Um, this is uh, Mafruke. Ah, okay. This is Mafruke pistachio. This pistachio one looks yeah. awesome. Yeah, this looks good. Man. Look at all that pistachio, guys. Don't come here if you're allergic to nuts. Oh, it's so sticky. Oh, no, no. There are lots of delights that there is no nuts in it, like Kanefe. Yeah, okay. There are so many options. Okay, here we go. Come on, you're eating sweets no. without utter. Drowning. Sucked in. Okay, here we go. I'm starting to get full, so we gotta eat this quickly before I get full. Mm. Oh, so soft. I think, like, the thing this has, all of these have in common. So, so soft. Literally. One bite and you're done. And fresh. Mm, very fresh. And they melt in your mouth. Yeah, they literally melt in the mouth. Oh, the best for the last. Oh, yeah? Look at that. Woo. The sweets, you, you treat it with love. You right. do. Harry, you're a wizard. As soon as. You did the same voice as when you usually say that. <laughs> oh my god, this is really good, bro. He's mm. gone for it. Yalla? Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah. I really like the addition of the almonds in there. That kind of reminds me of a mixture of all the four different desserts we've had. Just all the, the best bits of each one. But I have to say, my favorite would either be the spring roll kind of, I'm gonna call it a spring roll, no it's not a spring roll. The, the spring roll looking dessert, or the knefe. What was your favorite? Knefe. There's even here knefe and chocolate. Wow. Gotta finish it guys. Mmm. That's in bro. That was incredible. You can see why this place has got the reputation it has. It is scrumptious, delicious, beautiful. All of I've, I've run out of adjectives to describe this place. You always have water after sweets. Oh yeah, get some my. Oh yeah, messy. Cheers. Thank you. I was gonna do what I thought I would do the uh, proper Arabic. <laughs> so for basically a plate for two, we had water, orange, and then a Pepsi. It's 415, so 12 dollars, roughly. Um, yeah, decent price. Obviously, we're at a very popular place in Lebanon to come for desserts, but that was so good. That's filled me up. Really good portion size and uh, yeah, really good. So, uh, had an amazing time here in Tripoli. Honestly, if you're coming to Lebanon, I would definitely, definitely, definitely visit this place. Merci, Kaye. Thank you, man. I don't think I need to tell you uh, how nice the people have been. I'm sure you guys have seen it on the video. Um, just an incredible, vibrant place, and I would really, really recommend it. Alright guys, and that is the end of our time in Tripoli. We're heading back to base, back to Junior now. Had an incredible day, as you guys saw. It was fun-filled, full of incredible food, incredible people, great hospitality, and uh, a nice little sweet end to it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. 
thank you subscribe for taking me around showing me the place and i'll see you guys in the next video